Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Some of you are really being abused. You have been abused for a very, very, very long time. And I believe God is saying, it's time. It's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to bust a move. Now, let me tell you why I think this. As I'm sitting here this afternoon, like I said, when I woke up, that whole thing was on my mind, just playing like a conversation and memories coming back. Things I didn't think about in, I mean, no reason to think about them. Now, one just came back to me after I finished this last video. I really believe God is pointing at somebody because the Lord just reminded me just now of a guy I used to shack with. This is all in my unsaved days, my days of stupidity, the age of stupidity. Anyway, and this guy and I somehow got in some silly argument and he grabs my arm and I can't let go. That's how strong he was. And he prances me around the house, the apartment, as he commences to punching holes in the wall. And while he's punching the holes in the wall, he's cussing at me, telling me I better be glad my face wasn't there. And I better be glad he's got enough self-control to take it out on the wall and not hit me. And I'm sitting up here saying, don't even get the heck out of here. And then the other half of me is saying, yeah, but something's got a hold of me. I can't go right now. So be cool. Just be cool. Don't panic. All right. So when the whole exchange was over and he finally danced out and got himself a cigarette and whatever else he did. I got in my car and I hurried up and got home to my parents' house. When I got to the par parents' house, I didn't tell them what happened. Don't ask me why we don't tell, but I didn't tell them what happened. I think the reason was I didn't want them worrying and I didn't want my father putting himself in a dangerous situation. So I, I got on the phone privately. I called the police and I asked them to escort me, to meet me at this address and escort me into my apartment so I could move all my stuff out. Because one warning was all it took for me. See, I didn't need to be slapped upside the head and punched in the eye and kicked down the stairs to know that this man really meant what he was saying. There's no relationship worth hanging in there for, worth me getting all black and blue. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. So anyway, so I called the police and when I called the police, what they did was they told me what to do, where to meet them, da da da. We got up to the front. They didn't allow me to get out of the car till they were out. And then they escorted me up the stairs. And when we got to the door, they addressed the young man. Asked him if there's a problem. Of course, he put on the charm and nothing was wrong. and Everything was fine. And they let him know, I'm moving out and they don't want any problems. So they wanted him to step out of the apartment. And they allowed me to get all my stuff out. And I got all my stuff and I dumped, I dumped. I didn't care if it was in a bag, if it was packed, if it was folded, if it was on a hanger, I just dumped. And when I got through dumping, I got my happy hips out there. And I let the door swing outwards as I did my exit. Safely, under the protection of law enforcement. And I got in my car and I drove my happy hips back to my parents' house. And I was safe from that point on. And that was the last time that I even tried. There was no more need for communication. Not in my book. That was, that was a closed chapter. Buried. Gone. Done. Now I know God protected me a lot. Because he never let a man put his hand on me, and I, I suffered one slap. But I never, I never stayed in a relationship where I thought that, you know, this was going to, you know, I mean, once the slap happened, that was the end of the relationship. I 
I didn't think much of myself, but I thought enough of myself not to stay in a volatile relationship. It didn't make sense to me. It was just stupid to me. Why? Why do that? It didn't make sense. So anyway, what I'm trying to say to you is, is reassess your situation. Even if you have kids, there are shelters, there is welfare. You may be ashamed to do it, but listen, you got to do something or somebody may die. That's your warning and I'm done. I'm not begging anybody because you got a brain between those two ears of yours, male or female. Nothing is keeping you there but you.